if you recall uh, in a prior module we spoke about we talked about we discussed rapid application development and the tool used for rapid application development we talked about was php and uh, before that uh, in the prior modules, we briefly discussed about uh, how you run certain uh, PHP uh, commands and retrieve the data. And of course, uh, now we are more interested in how do we generate the PHP page because uh, there are many control elements which I'll show you on the next slide. And those control elements, they are embedded within the PHP tags, so to say. So uh, what I'll show you right now is the control elements and uh, let's talk about it. So uh, on your left side on your screen, you see the code uh, and on the right side, you see uh, what is generated by these control commands. I will explain all of this to you very briefly. But before I explain it to you, there is the PHP code which in which this code is embedded. Now there are two things in that code. Uh, there are methods and how the data is submitted because all of this the contents of this form they will be submitted to the uh, to the database server to to the web server and it will retrieve the data because for example uh, you have to send the data to get information from your database right now try to understand a number of things first of all that the contents of this page will be submitted to the web server and in the tags which will be of the php tags i will give the address or the url where the server is located and from where this data has to be retrieved so to say understand and in the example which is given in the supporting material instead of the url the name of the page is given so you understand because uh, we are not right now submitting the data to any server but i believe you understand so now I will briefly uh, show you those code and its explanation. So this code over here, which you can see, this this code is for this radio button. So out of these three radio buttons, only one will be selected because a person can be of only one category. And then we have this push button. So you can click it, click it over here and it will take you. And then of course, we have these checkboxes. A person can have a number of items in these checkboxes. So this is covered over here and then it is the drop down list right and then this thing something is very interesting over here hidden field hidden field and you can see this is the text over here I am secret now this text is not shown on your right side because this text will be uh, embedded in the form and it will be not displayed on the screen but this data will be passed to the uh, web server and to the database server okay now uh, we have to capture the data from the from these forms and these are different ways of processing that data now for the multiple values one can put the square brackets right one can put the square brackets over here like this and this these square brackets follow the variable which contains the multiple values so the php engine knows what is coming so what it does it generates a global array and instead of a single value a global array will contain those values which are passed to it and what will be passed the name of the variable the label and the contents of the variable which is in the form itself and then is the generating the web forms with php over here generating the forms how these forms are generated these forms are generated in number of ways for example the form is generated by a echo command by a print command and of course there are other php tags we will discuss those tags so those tags and those commands they generate the page and then of course there are the variables also the variables are passed to the php engine and again as i said those variables corresponding to those variables again a global array is generated the variables are stored in their global array and as and when required of course those variable contents are read from that global array and along with storing whatever is stored the data they are little bits of pieces of information are also stored in that global array so that the retrieval is convenient all right now uh, when you upload this uh, form along with you can upload the files also now those files uh, can be uploaded and the size of the files can be limited 
and those files are stored in temporary folders. Whatever you load, those files are stored in temporary folders and there is a limit to the files because when you upload, you don't want to overwhelm the web server. You don't want to overwhelm the database server because ultimately whatever you upload, it goes into that database server. So the checks are there and the limits are there and that whatever you load that is stored in temporary folders. And when it goes into the temporary folders as and when required, it is taken out from the temporary folders and it becomes permanent and it is used for subsequent storage. And the last point is the redirection. After the form submission, redirection means that when are you going to stop and where it is going to take you. That's about it for this module.